KGS. We do not want to be clustered in here. So, what do I do about that? Good question. I'll make a run for the uh, boss room. Oh, it's not Wait. BKGS. Right. Oh, instant death. That's nice. I'm leaving. How did you die in one hit? Uh, higher level, better shit than me. Ah. So I feel like we're in, I feel like we're pretty much about I don't know five minutes to to Ornstein, give or take. You're funny. <laughs> You're fucking hysterical. Oh, it's gonna be a decade and a half. Where are you going? I don't know. Right. I I saw it. Is this where we're actually going? Yep. I was like, I feel like this is the shortcut you mentioned. Maybe. I might have forgotten where we're going. God damn this polio leg run. I hate it. He seems so innocent. And then you notice that there are yep. more teeth than necessary. I gotta say, it's a gorgeous boss. Like, it's a really pretty boss. Day 37, still hasn't slammed. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, just hit him in the legs. Ooh. Not crazy, we cut his tail and you got his item, right? Yeah. Okay. That did happen. Make sure. Guess we should have summoned Solar. Uh, uh. Jumping on you. Yep. Yep, he is. Yeah, boss music is definitely good. Oh, cool. Finally. Definitely some good boss music, I'll give it that. Slam, motherfucker. I dare you. Zoo, motherfucker, zoo. It's like, it harkens back to my childhood, like the graphics right. of this. Get one hit and run. Oh, if he catches you, you're dead. Thank God. If I missed? Fuck you. Okay, cool. Double miss. Was it like that attack specifically will kill me instantly, or...? Uh, his charge. It like puts you in an animation and kills you. Oh, okay. Good to know. Ooh, slam. I say I'm not gonna be able to have I'm not gonna have time Speaking to get to his head. Which uh, we can just whittle his health down, I'm not gonna bother wasting that last resin I have. Alright. Spitting. Yep. There's something about that, like, spit, like, animation that really reminds me of, like, when I was little playing games. Slam. The fuck out. Watch for steppy stomps. He's back up Away. again. He's flying, landing. Slam, you bitch. Slam. Yep, slam. Going for you.
surprised Reed. he's not. Let's say I'm surprised he's not dead. It looked like he was in his like took enough damage to die animation for a while there. Yeah. You defeated. Twin Turtles. humanities, homeward bone, other nonsense. Cool. <sighs> well, neat. Now where the actual fuck do I go? They can come back to the bonfire and help me now. That's true. That seems fine. I'm not going to bother with whatever's going on over there. Because I feel like I'm better off not knowing what's going on over there. I'm a little surprised you've never seen Gaping Dragon, though. I mean, it happens. There's a lot of bosses in this game I've not ever seen. It's the only, actually, I think the only one that I've ever actually seen, like, the full cutscene and some of the fight of is Ornstein and Smo. Mm. Alright, fair enough. See, so, yeah, we didn't manage to get the Gargoyle's Halberd. Uh, we weren't lucky enough to get that boss drop. I've gotten every other boss drop, which is nice. Except whatever the Gaping Dragon drops, like, if it drops a boss thing. Um, right, yeah. I'm trying to summon him. For the most part, we've had really good luck with like boss drops. You know, we've got the demon, the demon's great hammer. We've got uh, Capra's machete. Ow! Pretty decent. That Capra. That Capra's. It's pretty cool. Area boss has been challenged in the ways of old. So how do cutscenes and stuff work in this game? Is everyone watching and they're unskippable? Uh, yeah, you can skip them, but. Yeah, to watch it the first time. Like, something like that. Because I'm trying to skip, but I can't. Ah. Uh, I, I can't get over how fucking pretty the boss is. They have a very different sense of pretty than most people. Okay, his scales are gorgeous, and the whole teeth thing is pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> Come on oh, and slam. Bit. Nope, it's gonna puke. I don't know what this reminds uh, me of, but it's 100%. It's, it reminds me of something from a game I used to play. Don't know what it is, though. Hi. I'd love to figure it out. Ah, oh, damn, I'm not gonna make it. Nah, I can get one hit. I feel like rolling in this game is a lot slower than it is in 3. Like. Yes, it oh, is. There's also like, no uh, omni-directional roll in this game. Oh, really? Is that why it's so fucking awkward? Probably. Since that's all you've ever been used to. Because in 2 and 3, it's like that, but in this game, there's no omni. I feel like I just rolled diagonally, though. Well, not when you're locked on. Oh. <laughs> I haven't been locked on to this boss the entire time we've been fighting him. So I'll just hit him in the arm. He's a lot easier to fight when you're not locked onto him. Yes, yes he is. I'm just saying for like other enemies if you decide to roll. Huh, interesting. He's up in the air, and he's down. Hail physics. Oh, he nope. slammed. You can hit him in the leg. Stomp. Stomp. The, the Phantom and I have the exact same idea. Hey. Light Town oh. Key. Whew. Now we can go the way you need to go. Dun, 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 dun. Returning to new, returning with newfound humanity. Wow, you get half the amount of souls for killing the boss. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. Is that like a first time thing, or is that an every time thing? time oh neat so our souls use our souls like do I need to be like holding on to them for anything or should I be leveling up as soon as possible I mean leveling up uh, use them for upgrade materials obviously like to upgrade okay why does equipping is it just the gargoyle stuff that like status affects you when you when you equip it because like the tail and the halberd both like poison and curse and Fucking kick you in the nuts whenever you put them on. Your, they're increasing your, they're increasing.
increasing your resistance. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> it's like I'm poisoned, I'm cursed, I'm dead. My parents hate me. <laughs> it's just a bunch of status shit on my screen. Alright, where are we headed to now, then? That big door. Oh, the fog wall door? Yep, because oh. now you can access it. Am I summoning you at the? Am I summoning you at the uh, bonfire? Uh, no. Okay. No. Okay. We'll meet down there at that door. Okay. I say it's not a it's not an arduous trek there. It's about fifteen feet. I just wanted to know before I made my way down there, and you were in, you were back at the bonfire. Yeah, I get you. I'm assuming you, I'm assuming I can't summon you at the bonfire because the area boss is dead. Yep. Yeah. Hello, guy of place. Use Blight Town key. Hmm. This seems fine. You are sadly mistaken. It's very green and dark very yeah, it's, dark it's like night vision huh so where are we <laughs> where where am i looking for you oh uh at the bottom of the ladder is where you can summon okay this is gonna be a hell of a trek i was just gonna go the other way and blight town skip but you can't do that so because I didn't get the master key. The fucking scrub. Oh shit. Fight one of these guys now. Oh, that guy has the uh, armored tusk helmet. That's neat. Try luring it out. Mmm. Good. Put my summon sign at the bottom of the ladders. Second ladder. I've gone down one ladder. Okay, there's a second ladder. I see a summon sign. Is it you? Survey says. Yes. Hello. Good day. Hi. Hello. Uh we will explore Blight Town in the next part. Because we're all out of time for this. So. Whew. I didn't mean Thanks. Things otherwise. All right. Now we can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed comments and things like that, I much appreciate it. And uh, as always, until next time. <laughs>